Shalom you guys Welcome or welcome back to my channel So I already know I kind of did like an intro to this video But this is the intro of me actually talking Right now we are on our way to Barnes & Noble This is this might actually be my first time there as far as I can remember I feel like I've been there before but I can't really remember But anyways, at least it's my first time to like this location So I actually just got started like getting into reading this week Or the, uh, technically this past week so now I'm like, I really want to get into reading. So I kind of want to incorporate that into my videos a little bit. Um, I'm just going to look through the books um, and see what they have. So let's go to Barnes & Noble. Okay guys, so we are at the little Starbucks in Barnes & Noble and it is so cute, like I love the vibe that it gives and um, we're just here, we ordered some Starbucks. We're probably gonna sit here and read for a second, uh, my mom is currently reading right now, um, but here are the books. I don't know if I should give you guys a haul right now or in the car or even at home. I'll probably do it at home because right now, you know, there's people talking and I'm kind of low, so yeah. Anyways, we're just waiting on that. I got a um, matcha and then a cheesecake. Like, this is so different from like a regular Starbucks, and they said that they're not even like a regular Starbucks, like the bookstore owns them, so that's pretty cool. So we are back home now. I don't know why I'm kind of out of breath. Don't ask. I, 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 well, I can't promise you I'm in shape, but I'm in decent shape. I, anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys a little book haul. And the struggle it was to pick out books, even though I had two already that I knew I was going to walk in and come out with them. And I did, but I'm happy about that. But like there were so many other books, I was like, let me just take them all with me and we can go. But books are expensive. Um, I only got three for now, and that's all I really need because, like I said, I'm just getting the books, and I don't need to wear myself out. This is the book that I'm currently reading: A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson. Mm -hmm. I am literally over halfway done with the book, and it is so good as of right now. 
Barnes and Noble. Okay, so this is the first book that I actually picked up, the one that wasn't on my list. The Wrong Place, Wrong Time by Gillian McAllister. Um, I saw this book, somebody read it. I I think her name is Sarah something, who was reading this book, one of the booktubers. Um, and it looked really good and I read the back. It's like one of those books where it's like a time loop. And I love watching like time loop movies because it's always just so interesting. It's Wrong Place, Wrong Time. I'm very excited to read this. It's one of the thriller books that I found in the thriller section. And then the next book I was looking for was the it's Not Summer Without You by Jenny Han. Um, I thought, okay, so I am actually one of those people who watched the Summer I Turned Pretty show before I read the book because at the time I wasn't into books. I didn't even know it was a book. And this series was made in like 2010. So that was like a little over 10 years ago. So I didn't even know it existed. I was born in 2009. So yeah. <laughs> the Summer I Turned Pretty already. That was the book that I just finished last week and it was so good. So now here's the second part to it and I'm very excited to read it. I already read like the first two chapters. It has one more book, We'll Always Have Summer. So I'm gonna read that one after I get done with this one. The last book is one that I've been hearing everybody talk about and it was like one of those sections, I think I put it on camera, where like you first write walk in it's one of those stands where they just had a whole bunch of these emory henry books happy place and this is the book that everybody's been talking about we might be going to the beach this um one of these weeks in july so either i'm gonna read it's not somewhere without you or this one because they're both based in like beaches um i also got <laughs> a package my apocrypher um because i my apocrypher i don't know what happened to it but i haven't I've been with that little apocrypher for a long time now. So yeah, it's just my apocrypher. <laughs> my aunt made this book and she sells notebooks and stuff. So her Amazon link will be down below. I never really talked about her, you know, stuff before. But she created this book and it was so good. It's like one of those, you know, kid little books that you can get for your children. with pictures and stuff. It's very good. Let's organize this real quick. I got this book, and I think it's like one of my first books that I got. I never finished it, so I may finish it. Probably not. Yeah. That's literally it but don't worry it's gonna grow it's gonna grow it's it's the start five books I think six Okay guys, so I didn't talk to you guys yet, but we are in Target right now. I wasn't planning on putting this in this video, but this video is kind of all over the place. Like I was supposed to do this video on Monday, and it is now Thursday. I'll explain when we get home, but right now we are just doing a little self-care shopping. So I'll give you guys a haul when we get home. <laughs> time 
again. We are back home now. Ugh, it's hot. I don't know why I decided to wear a, a hoodie today. Um, I didn't check, I checked the weather. <laughs> and it's Thursday. I started this video on Monday. And it was supposed to be like a productive day in my life or like a summer day in my life. You know, the, the stuff. But now it's Thursday. And I'll explain. On Monday, we had new moon that night. So I don't know why I decided to film that day. But I knew any of these other days this week was it was going to be not good. Because I was supposed to actually post this video today. But it's not happening. Maybe tomorrow or on Sunday. I'm leaning more towards Sunday. Because I want to get all the time to actually make this video good for you guys. Um, yeah. And so Monday night was new moon. So we had to get ready around like 5. And <laughs> let me tell you. I was rushing. So. And we didn't come back home until like 2. So where did the time go? Like. And then that day we also didn't wake up the earliest. So it's like. Yeah, no, that's our fault. It's on Tuesday, we can't do anything, so that's why I didn't film. And yesterday, I filmed, like, one thing, but that was it. Because I didn't know, like, I had things to film, but I was also doing other stuff. So, it was like... <sighs> Anyways, we're here today, Thursday, hello. I'm actually going to get to the haul now. First thing, 24-hour lavender shave cream. Um, I never got the lavender one. I only got the like vanilla one and the villa vanilla is my favorite But I saw this one. And I was like, let me go ahead and give it a try because it's purple It's pretty and I like lavender scented stuff even though there's not a lot of lavender scented stuff, you know This next thing I got a elf eyebrow gel Yes, I got an elf eyebrow gel because I need new eyebrow gel honestly you could use regular gel to like hold on your eyebrows because let me tell you these things do not yeah next thing is this instant freeze instant freeze by aussie uh the sculpting gel i never got this but it's like they're aussie has really like upgraded on their packaging so it's like really cute now and it's for all hair types so i needed some gel to you know hold down my hair and I don't like gel especially when it's like um it dries up and it has all the little flakes I'm not a gel girl and uh they had hairspray but it had alcohol in it and alcohol dries out your hair so next thing is the miracle curls curl defining oil I got this stuff last time um it's really good and it's thick so if you have thick hair this is for you. <laughs> Last product in this bag is, this is the Curl Refresher from Aussie. Yeah, it's like a, a little spray. This stuff is really good. It definitely refreshes your curls if it's like two day hair, three day hair. Like I wash, I like to wash my hair every Sunday. Sometimes I go two weeks, but I like to wash it like once every week. I have dry hair. And my hair dries out really fast, especially when I was younger. It's gotten a little better now, but still. I need to, like, hydrate it every day to make sure my hair doesn't fall out. I don't know why I got this. I just thought it looked really pretty. And plus, I used the same gloss from ColourPop. It's so good. It's actually a lip oil, but, you know. Um, this Revolution um, Cream Made Lip Swirl. It's a lip gloss, and it looks so pretty, you guys. Like, do you see that swirl? Hello? Lighting? Thank you. <laughs> um, I got some soft toothbrushes. And they're just pink. And they were literally 99 cents. So why not? I needed new toothbrushes. And these are cute. The next thing <laughs> is this big bottle of Coco Shea Butter or Shea Lotion, whatever. Uh, me and my brother are going to be sharing this because it's needed. It's needed. I'm going to show you guys two things at a time because this is going on for way too long. Um, we got some soap, soft soap. My mom got these, the sweet pea and violet, even though I have deodorant, but I got this one. She gave me, because it was a two-pack, so she gave me this one. Last thing, but not the least, last but not least, 
the Candy Shop Sweet Cinnamon Hearts Body Wash. <laughs> I normally get the um, vanilla and coconut scent. I think that's what it is. But this smells, I can't, I can't even explain it. I'm not the type of person who could explain smells, so go get it for yourself. If you, this is their new line, the candy shop, so go try and just smell all their scents because they smell great. Anyways, that was the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video. Right now, I'm about to do some more editing for this video because I need to get it out on hopefully Sunday. I was supposed to get out today. But that's not happening because I don't even have the thumbnail done. So, oh, little update, little update. <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly a little mad because, you know, all the back to school shopping. I love all the back to school shopping stuff, but the part I don't like is going back to school. And you guys know that we did online for like my whole middle school year, sixth grade to eighth grade. I did online. Um. So yeah, but, but. For my freshman year, I am going back to school, which <laughs> you might be like, oh, yay. I'm like, no, no, thank you. I've been at home doing school for the past three years now that I don't even want to go back. Like, I'm, it's, <sighs> I have to for reasons, mainly because of my brother. So this year is back to school shopping. Watch, stay tuned for those videos because they will be coming and I'll actually be going back to school. So I have a whole list of the things that I need. So make sure you watch those videos because there'll be a whole bunch of them doing what's, what's in my backpack, come back to school shopping with me, you know, all those type of things. So, and of course the first day of school, get ready with me. So anyways, I just want to update you guys a little bit on that.